my belief is that our primary desire, particularly as uh, children, is to be loved unconditionally. And through our interactions at school and with our caregivers, we kind of learned conditions for being loved. Like people smiled when we used the fork, people smiled or clapped when we used the toilet for the first time. And we were like, okay, if I behave this way, people will love me, but it's actually conditional love. And America is kind of this huge resentment factory because what we really want, we can't have, which is to be loved unconditionally. This is just my own personal belief. So when we're in fights as adults with people who we feel really, really comfortable with, the wounded child in us feels comfortable to rear, rear its ugly head and become, uh, you know, like disproportionately sad or angry. So if that happens, there's numerous tools to tap out, you know, go to neutral corners. I'll talk about that a little later. And, um, uh, to self-regulate when you become dysregulated, what I love is um, the three-part breath. So most of us are sitting and uh, jacked up on uh, coffee, sugar, meat, all the things that we consider to be normal that make us productive members of society. And um, we're taking these staccato breaths into the third part, the bottom part of our lung right here. Your lung actually starts up here at your clavicle. So um, what I teach to become undysregulated, to regulate yourself as an adult and to just let go of that wounded child is the three-part breath. So the first part goes into the ribs, the second part into the back, and then the third part into the clavicle. And you exhale the same. So your normal breath is about four seconds on the inhalation, five on the X. And if you want to become undysregulated, you double that to eight. So you'd be something like. Three-part breath, always available, and it will help you become undysregulated.